What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? It's a beautiful day here in Charleston. It's Monday, and uh, yeah, anyways, getting the vlog started today. Uh, getting on the road a little bit later. It is, uh, it's going on a little bit after 2 o'clock, but uh, anyways, my morning sometimes consists of editing videos and checking Facebook and YouTube and commenting back to some of y'all on there. So thanks for all the comments. Definitely been reading them, trying to reply to everybody. And uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, today I'm heading right now to the Stokes Honda store. Yes, I know for a fact now that the black on black Civic SI is in stock there because it's actually sitting on the mechanics lift about an hour ago getting its uh, PDI inspection done in the shop. So anyways, I'm going to try to get up there and, uh, and be able to film the car today. So uh, yeah, let's hope for that. I don't know, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's already been cleaned and all that kind of stuff so I don't have to sit around and wait for it to go through the detail department. But um, shouldn't be too much they have to do to it, considering it's a uh, it's a brand new car coming in. So, anyways, that's what we're doing. So hang tight. I'm here at the gas station. Got to get some gas. Then we're heading up to Honda up in North Charleston. All right. Have you ever walked into the gas station before and uh, the line stretches to the back? Probably so. That's what I just dealt with. I mean, it seemed like a 15, 20 minute trip to go in the gas station and just pay for some gas. But um, yeah, the line was long. Anyways, uh, let's think. The Civic Si. So uh, yeah, I used to own a Acura Integra back in the day. Uh, it was like my third car, and uh, I really enjoyed the Acura Integra. It was just a great vehicle, fun to drive. It looked good. You know, it just had that sporty look about it. And um, you know, and if you had the uh, the GSR or if you had the Type R. You were one cool guy. I mean, you had you had the cool car, right? Yeah. Does the new Civic Si have that feel about it? Does the new Type R have that feel about it? As in, whoa, look at that. That's a Type R Civic Si, right? I don't know. There's this guy named Doug that works for Auto Trader. I guess he writes a column, and he's got a pretty large YouTube channel. And every time he does a video, you know, these videos get two, three, four, five hundred thousand views on them. Sometimes even more. I really enjoy his videos. He's just a good. He talks well, and um, he just really brings some good content to uh, to his videos. And uh, I've been kind of striving to get to the level he's at. And man, I've I've been doing car videos since 2011, but this guy is good. Okay. And uh, anyway. He did a video about the Type R, and you know he he showed the positives about it. But then there was so much stuff, you know, on the car that um, that he was just kind of saying was just too much. And uh, so today, when we look at the uh, Civic Si, I'm going to point out some of those things if you didn't see his his video, and uh, and see what y'all think about it. So let's do that. Um, other than that, that's that's going to be today. I could stop at another car dealership before I get to Honda because, uh, again, the car is in the shop right now. It's going to take a little bit of time for it to get through the shop and get up front and all that. And it could be later in the afternoon when that happens. So uh, I may be stopping by Volkswagen and Mazda, and uh, and we'll vlog through there as well and check out some of their inventory. All right, we're calling the Acura of Augusta store. I found out that the NSX. Um, that supposedly we had in Charleston is actually in Augusta at our Acura store. One of our sales guys at Honda posted about an NSX. They just came in stock. So I'm calling there to see what's going on. And of course, uh, not getting an answer from the Acura store. That's kind of weird. Acura of Augusta is not available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Press the pound key to end recording. So it's kind of weird. A uh, car dealership has a, uh, a doesn't have anyone to answer the phone, isn't it? It's a little bit odd. Anyways, uh, this is the marketing guy, and uh, from oh well, they're calling me back. Let's see what's going on here. Hang on. Hello. Hello. Hey. Uh, this is Chief with Accurate Key of Augusta. I just missed a phone call from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I was, um, it went to voicemail. Oh, okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Is anybody particular trying to get? Well, what, um, I'm, uh, well, first off, are y'all part of the Stokes uh, organization? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm. 
cool. I, I'm uh, I'm I'm actually down. I live in uh, North Charleston. I'm uh, I'm one of the marketing guys with Stokes down here. And uh, hold on one second. Somebody's uh, flying past me. All right. Um, somebody uh, somebody mentioned to me that y'all had a new Acura NSX that came in. Oh, great. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I, don't, I don't know about the Charleston. I'm in Augusta. And Acura and Augusta. And we've got one sitting on our showroom. But yeah, that, that's the one I was talking about. I, I didn't um, I didn't know if there was a, a, a sales manager or somebody I could talk to because I was going to... Yeah. I was gonna be Daniel Hodges and he was right second. He had just stepped up back, he's not standing in the desk. Uh, can I get your name and number and get him to call you right back? Yeah, that'd be great because I, I want to come up and film it. All right, so as you can tell, I'm trying to uh, set up with the uh, manager there at Acura of Augusta to uh, come film their NSX because, you know, I mean, they may have somebody there to film it, but I, I really just want to film it for uh, for my YouTube channel here on Charleston Car Videos. But at the same time, you know, hey, if I could film it and make a nice video, I'd love to give it to the dealership as well so they can use it for, for uh, promoting the car and trying to help sell it. Um, other than that, yeah, that would be pretty kick-ass to be able to film the new NSX and even take it out for a test drive. If I get up there, I'm pretty sure that probably would happen. So, uh, yeah, maybe even the uh, general manager can hop in and, and go for a ride with me. Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. His name's Daniel Hodges. So, uh, up in Augusta, it's, uh, it's Stokes Hodges. So, it's part of the Stokes uh, organization here in Charleston, but... Um, Anyways, it's Hodges, so Stokes Hodges. You got two separate uh, entities there of owners. Anyways, that would be awesome. He's gonna call back, and uh, I'll let y'all know in the details what I find out. And uh, while you're waiting on me to get up to the Honda store to take a look at the SI, I want to show y'all a clip yesterday from my Father's Day vlog, and. Uh, it's me getting a little bit upset having to try to fix a pool pump. Might be a little bit funny. What's up everybody? Today it's Father's Day 2017 and I'm out here in the yard. It's time to get the pool pump on the pool and get it fixed because for the last two weeks my pool pump broke. You know, it's some cheap ass pump that came with the uh, Summer Waves pool at Walmart that costed $250 a year ago. Pool pump worked for about a year or so then yeah, just on a random day here this summer, it just bah, quits working, right? Anyway, so as any good husband and wife do, they get on the internet and YouTube and they watch some tutorial videos on how to fix this piece of shit pop-up pool, right? Anyways, nah, it's not really a piece of shit. I'm just getting a little angry right now because it just drives me crazy. But before we get started and I lay out some stuff here on the table and show you how to fix this issue, let me walk around. My, my two dogs have decided to take some big, large dumps around my area here. And uh, I gotta clean up and scoop up the shit real quick because it just smells like, ah, uh, you know. All right, so like I said, we're gonna get this shit uh, pretty much uh, shoveled up real quick. And uh, let's, let's, as any good father, you know, on the weekends, again, I got a seven-year-old daughter and a five-year-old son. Is it their job to scoop up the dog poo out of the yard? Uh, I don't think it's their job just yet. But um, there's a big, nice, nasty turd right there. And uh, definitely can see a shoe print in it. So uh, when I was smelling poop about 30 minutes ago out here, maybe I stepped in it, right? And uh, yeah, it's possible, you know, dad stepped in the poo. I always like to throw my poo kind of... Right, right back there, because that's my neighbor's house, and he uh, he stole around fifteen thousand dollars from me uh, two, three years ago. And uh, so, anytime I'm picking up crap out of the yard, I like to kind of toss it in that direction. Now, I don't physically toss it in his yard, which uh, maybe some of y'all think I should, but um, yeah, I mean, but I do toss it over towards the fence. And you know, I ain't gonna lie to you, maybe every once in a while, some uh, some shit flew over the fence, right? He's lucky that's really all, all flew over the fence. But yeah, so there's that poop. And uh, there's some more out here. Just cut the grass last week, but of course here in Charleston, it rains about every, every day in the afternoon. And uh, yeah, we get definitely, a lot of rain, which causes a lot of mowing. Uh, why is there a tarp laid down on the ground? Because it's a bunch of pricklers and nasty stuff over there. And I got this big tree swing for the kids to swing on. And yeah, I put something down for them. Anyways, so uh, also something you can do too that you may need to do when you're doing this type of process. And maybe I'm doing it ass backwards, but um, I like to 
take this off. That was the pump that was there. And go ahead and let that water run down and, uh, and get out so when I'm working, I don't have water splashing all over me. But at the same time, yeah, you're going to get water on you because now we got a big nasty mess down here with a bunch of water, right? So anyways, these are new Crocs, so let's test them out today right down there. All right. Let's put the camera back on the tripod. I got me a drink. I got this pool kit here. And uh, let's try our best to put this thing together and make it work today. Oh, yeah. Take a look at that. Chevy Impala. Impala's looking pretty good. As you see, on any given day, you can find something cool on the car lots, like that Impala back there. Oh yeah, that thing looks good. Anyways, extremely windy today. As you can see behind me, dark clouds. So hopefully the uh, audio is not getting too screwed up with the wind. But anyways, where we're at right now, one of my favorite places, Stokes Volkswagen. We're going to go inside here and uh, talk to Mr. Mike Mazel for a second. They have a uh, vehicle that they're raffling off on July 7th. That's the Friday night cruise and jam right here at the dealership. So uh, they're going to be raffling off a Beetle. So we're going to try to find that car and show it to you in case you want to buy a raffle ticket for it. It's only 15 bucks and uh, you can win a free car. What's up everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at this beautiful 2015 Lexus. All right, what's up, everybody? So I had to pop in at Stokes Volkswagen for a second, talk with the general manager, because we're uh, sponsoring a music concert on uh, on April, or no, June 29th at the Windjammer in the Isle of Palms, which is on the beach. And uh, I want to tell some of y'all about this real quick. Um, uh, Miss uh, Lauren Elena, I guess uh, from what I was reading, she is a, uh, she's a, she's a singer, of course, a country music singer, and uh, Lauren Elena is going to be here doing that concert on 29th at Windjammer. Uh, she, just a little background about Lauren Elena, if I'm saying that right. Um, she was in the season 10, and she was the runner-up on America's American Idol. So, uh, so extremely good singer. Um, she's been singing since she was like four years old, and uh, anyways, yeah, she's really good. So uh, we're sponsoring that concert that night. We have a few tickets to give away. So if any of y'all watching right now want to uh, have a chance to uh, go to that concert that night and get some free tickets and kind of be in the VIP section with us at Stokes VW, here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm doing a promotion on, on, uh, on Facebook uh, tomorrow. And uh, if you go to Stokes VW, Stokes Volkswagen on Facebook, like and share the uh, the promotion that I'm doing about the concert, and then you'll go into a raffle there to be able to win two free tickets. So pretty good. The tickets aren't very expensive to begin with. They're only like 10 bucks or so to get in the concert that night. All ages are welcome to come according to the website here on the, the uh, Windjammer. But um, what, what you do get is if you win these tickets, well, you get two free tickets. That saves you 20 bucks. And at the same time, you get to hang out with me. Yeah. <laughs> so you get to hang out with me at the concert, and uh, and definitely we'll get you some VIP and some access to the backstage and all that kind of thing to meet Lauren. How you say her name? Lauren Elena. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, that's what's going on now. Uh, right now I'm driving in a Lexus LX570 full-size SUV by Lexus. Gorgeous vehicle. And I'm going to drive over to Mazda real quick. And, uh, and see what's going on over at the Mazda store because the Mazda store is literally just right across the street. So I'm, I'm standing here at our lot. You got a beautiful brand new CX-5 sitting here. And while I'm standing here, someone's throwing glass bottles over the trees and right down here. I mean, they're throwing glass bottles right down here. I'm going to show you. I'm not joking here. Look at this. Right here. Now, I don't know who's doing this. But, um, I mean, look at that. I mean, that just got thrown right up over the fence. It's almost like they want to uh, screw with the cars. Let's see if we can see who's behind here doing this shit. Let's see, what do we got? They didn't know Chad's got a camera like this. I can see him.
yeah, this is what they do. Let's see if we can catch them. Let's see if we can catch them in the face. Come on, walk right up into that camera view. Come on, hombre. can't find them what they do is they throw shit over they try to hurt the cars and then they run like a bunch of pussies can't show their face I mean this is what you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis when you got the ghetto right next to your car dealership there you go look at that I didn't lay that there that was right there on the ground they won't like it when the policeman gets called and busts them for the marijuana smoking right over there, right? I'm gonna go show my boy Bubba inside. He's GM here. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you're dealing with when you got the ghetto next door to your car dealership. You know, it's ghetto over there, okay? So don't be hitting on or ragging on me because I'm calling it ghetto, but it's ghetto, okay? It is ghetto! All right, everybody, I'm back at it again. I gotta find this Honda Civic Si. It's been a few days now. Oh, I'm stepping in the mud. Anyways, it should be ready. I've got the text message today with the pictures of it in the shop getting PDI'd. Let's see if I can find, did I say the Odyssey? No, I didn't say the Odyssey. The Civic Si, that's right, black on black. We also got a Type R coming in. Anyways, I almost turned around and went back home and I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and head over to Honda. And, uh, and see if it's it's up front yet. So let's find out. All right, I believe I found the Civic Si and it's still exactly where it was six hours ago. <laughs> it's still right where it was six hours ago. So let's check it out today. Yeah, here it is. That's it right there. Now this is, uh, this is exactly the same way I filmed it last time when we had one come in. It was literally right here, but anyways, that's it. Looks good sitting in the shop, doesn't it? Wow. But uh, definitely want to have the opportunity to be able to film it outside of the shop and really get in detail. But, you know, I only got so many opportunities to do this. So I take what I can get. Black on black. Nice color combination. I'm liking the black with the black interior. I also like that green that we had that came in. That looked good too. That's it. Wow. Anyways. Oh yeah. Real nice. Looking good. I'm liking the fog lights. Anyways, let's see if we can even have a chance to maybe cut the lights on and check it out. Mm. Let's see. I don't know. I don't think anybody knows I'm in here right now doing this. Let me take my camera off the tripod real quick and uh, roll with it. All right, we're in. Ooh. There you go. So that kind of, that lights up when you open up the doors. And this is pretty much how it comes right when it comes off the truck. It's got the plastics on it. You know, seats are looking good. Finally getting to sit inside of it. Here's the key. That's what the key looks like. Of course, just put your finger right there. That lights that up. The screen should start to um, come alive. There goes that. Looking pretty cool. Ooh, man. Graphics look nice. I'm liking the colors. I'm pretty sure Honda's probably got it set up where you can change the background colors and things like that. If you didn't want the red, maybe you want the blue. Nice screen right there. Right now it's in access mode. I clicked it one more time. Let's see what that does. My goodness, look at that. That's pretty sweet. I mean, look at the exact. That's looking awesome. Wow. So good looking car. Yeah. Definitely. Up top, let's see if we got any LED lighting up here. Nope, just regular, regular lights. I didn't think they'd have LEDs up there. 
sunroof looks good. Let's see what kind of lights we got in our uh, vanity here. And it's still literally in the wrappers, folks. We'll go ahead and slide that back. What? Okay, that's odd. You don't even, if you can see that, there's no light even in here. Look at that. There's no light even right there. How about that? No light there. A little bit odd. Let's see if they even got a light over here for the for the ladies riding with the guys. Now, not, not to say the ladies aren't driving a Civic Si2, but still. Come on, at least put a light over here. No light. Just a piece of plastic where the light would be. Okay, that's... That's the stuff I'm pointing out, folks. Things like that. The things that make you go, uh. All right, what's going on in the glove box? No lights in the glove box, just, just plain and simple, just like that. I mean, it's a glove box. Kind of like a carbon fiber, not real carbon fiber, but kind of like a carbon fiber. <laughs> it looks like a carbon fiber, but it's not real carbon fiber. So anyways, let's go ahead and shut her off for a minute. It's about all I can really do while it's sitting in the shop right now. But that is your Civic Si. You got your heated seats, your six-speed manual transmission, got your leather boot, electronic park brake. Back there, again, it's tough, tough to see, but there is a, um, should be some USB ports and stuff like that. You do got your nice racing pedals down on the bottom. Pretty sporty. So that's that's where we're at, folks. Steering wheel, leather wrap, got the red stitching. Uh, you do got your uh, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff going on. So that's the Civic Si in the shop. Today it's Stokes Honda. All right. All right, one last look before we go home for tonight. There you go, that's your 2017 Civic Si at Stokes Honda North. I do think it was in the parking lot out there when I was walking through a few days ago and uh, somehow I just blew right past it. There you go. Alright everybody, so the Civic Si will be probably up front tomorrow, so thanks for checking out the video this afternoon with us. As you saw, they're getting it ready, it's in the shop, getting PDI'd, all that good stuff, and it'll be up front. Now do remember, we got a Type R also coming in towards the end of June, and uh, we may do a launch party on these vehicles as long as they don't sell beforehand, who knows. But uh, they are selling like hotcakes, I mean as soon as these new Civics come in, boom, they're out of here that quick. But anyways, thanks for watching the vlog today. We're gonna head on back down. We thought we were gonna get a little rain tonight, but I think we're just fine. So uh, no rain. If it was gonna rain, it was rained earlier today, right? We had a good time at Stokes Honda North though, just seeing the Civic Si. And what are y'all's thoughts of it? Again, I wanna get my hands on the car, on the lot out there, and film my video, and do my night review on it. And that's kinda what I was hoping to do today, but, um, I guess it's still in the shop. Something's going on. They got a fan blowing into the uh, into the back seats back there. All I can think is maybe maybe the uh, maybe the car was outside somehow and a downpour happened. I mean, again, it's been the rain has been sporadic here in Charleston the last week or so. Um, like I say, you know, in the summertime, when it starts raining, it comes every day in the afternoon. But I'm thinking maybe. Maybe they had the car sitting outside or something for a minute and it started raining and possibly uh, some rain got in with the window down. Who knows? I hope not, but uh, they'll get it taken care of. So anyways, peace out. We'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out the vlog today. Had a great time with everybody. Remember, subscribe, like, and comment. We'll see you soon.